This is where you take ownership. This is where you become the greatest version of yourself. If you want to be elite, if you want to be the best, hey, you have to put in the time, you have to do the work, and you gotta to have to be willing to be in an uncomfortable position. Hey, what's up team? It's Coach J. Pierre here. Today is game day, and that means it's another opportunity to push yourself with a high intensity HIIT workout that's been specifically designed with speed, agility, reaction, and plyometric movements to take your game to the absolute next level, to be that game-changing, electrifying, show-stopping athlete. And guess what? It's only 30 minutes long and no equipment is necessary. All I need you to do is give me everything you got and I promise you, you're gonna leave stronger than you started. Let's go. DJ, start that beat, baby. Let's go start with the high knees. Now we're looking for quick, fast, reactive movements. So we gotta prep and prime the body for the movements. Now we're gonna go butt kicks. Now look, I'm looking for the heel to touch the bum. We're still moving from the shoulder with those arms. We're gonna go back to high knees. And we're gonna move back and forth. Let's go to squats now. Sit the hips back, chest up, knees out, core tight, getting a little bit deeper with each squat. We're gonna start to go in and out with those squats. So we're getting a little bit more bouncy. We're gonna prime those calves and get everything fired up. Cause this is gonna be one amazing workout session. Let's go side to side lunge now with a squat in between. Side lunge, squat, side lunge, squat. The reason why we're warming up those squats today is because at the end of this workout, we're gonna be doing a lot of power and explosive movements. But in between, it's all quick, fast, ballistic movements. So we gotta make sure that you're ready for it. Let's take a side lunge, reach back behind. Okay, reverse lunge, sorry, and reach back behind. Be nice and stable on that front leg. Give yourself a twist now. The heart rate should start to be coming up because it's always non-stat movement when we're working here. Now there's gonna be times today that you get tired. It's okay, you go at your own pace. You slow it down when you need to, you speed it up when you start to get primed. Hey, last one for me. Take a step back, we're going high kicks. You notice how I stay long and tall? I'm trying to get full extension from that hamstring. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep great control. Give me three more. Second last one. One more. Beautiful, we're hitting the ground. And we usually do the same warm up all the time, why? Because we gotta make sure that the body is used to working at this type of level. And I wanna see if you're getting stronger. So these push-ups right here, you wanna squeeze the upper back, keep nice and strong with the core. Make sure your palms are in line with your shoulders. We got one more, then we're gonna go shoulder taps. Good, shoulder taps here. Now, minimal sway in the hips. Widen the base if you need to. Hold for about a second on that shoulder tap so we can really get that shoulder girdle activated with the core and the rest of the body. Beautiful. I want to go power burpee here. Tap and go. Touch and go. Come on, two more. One more. Good. Shuffle, one, two. And we got reactional movements today on the screen. That means we're gonna keep our eyes peeled and we're gonna be watching the screen and reacting to where the flashes and the arrows take us. We got two more. One, two, beautiful. Woo. Hey, if you guys are ready to go, take a drink, because we're about to start with our fast food footwork in session number one. Let's go. All right, team, we're prepped, primed, and ready to go. This is session number two, which is our footwork series. Slow feet, don't eat. So we gotta have quick, fast, and explosive footwork, but under control. So this week, I wanna pretend you guys have a ladder. We're gonna throw that ladder out, and we're gonna be going footwork through the ladder. So each and every week, we've been working on this. We've been working on timing, rhythm, and coordination. We're gonna be following our on-screen um, um, template, and this is gonna tell us, hey, we're gonna be going for five seconds all out, and we're gonna be taking a 
20 second rest. We have an onslaught of different movements. Just follow along. The first movement is gonna be an over and over back back. So when you're on that ladder, we're gonna go one way on the first round, and on the second round, we're gonna come back. I'm talking fast, because we gotta move fast. So, if we're gonna be going towards my left side, we're gonna start with put my left foot in. So we're gonna go as many times as we can through that ladder, five seconds, beep, boom. Rest, ah, deep breath in. We got a 15 second rest, and we're gonna go all the way back. If I said 20 in the first one, no, nah, no, nah, we're gonna cut off five. I was wrong, it's only 15. Take a deep breath, and we're gonna be starting in five seconds, guys. I am excited, I am ready to go, and I am ready. You guys ready? Three, two, go. Over and back, over and back. Good. Good. Take a deep breath in. 15 seconds rest. Notice I'm on the balls of my feet. My hips are back. My chest is slightly over the knees and toes. And I'm using my arms to generate speed and momentum. Go at your pace. It's got to look perfect. Good. Take a deep breath in. We're going to quick switches now. I'm gonna start with my left leg up. Hey, we're in that split stance position, and we're gonna be going down laterally all the way down with those quick switches. Keep your hips square, don't swivel them. Good, use those arms. Good. Notice how I use those arms, but it was opposite arm, opposite leg. You gotta have great mechanics, and it's gotta be able to flow Okay, in unison as we go down with great control in rhythm. Right leg up. Good. Stay in the balls of your feet, hips back. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. We're going lateral in, lateral out. So feet are gonna be in the middle. I'm gonna go in and out all the way down the ladder. As we rest, then we'll come on our way back. You ready? Good. In and out, in and out. Start to use those arms as you feel more coordinated. Good, now we're gonna go backwards. Same drill, backwards. Hips gotta be back behind us. We don't wanna be standing tall. We wanna be in an athletic position the entire time. Deep breath in. Here we go. Shake it out, we're going in and out now. Hey, virtually same as the lateral in and out, but I'm mean, gonna be just like this. Hey, it's like those hopscotch. Balls of the feet, quick, powerful movements. We're going backwards next. Notice that I am in control. Don't go so fast that you're out of control and you can't make it look smooth. Remember, smooth is fast. You ready? Smooth is fast, baby, and fast is smooth. Good. Now we're doing the icky shuffle or the Heisman. Hey, the inside leg is gonna be up. One, two, over. All the way up. Hey, power and aggressiveness off that outside foot. Good. Breathe. Notice my arms, hey, driving as if there's a sheet of glass behind me and I'm powerfully driving through the shoulder to gain momentum. Same thing going backwards. Hey, back, chest up. Good. Good, keep it up guys, come on. Beautiful. We got hip flips. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend I'm on one side of the ladder. I'm gonna throw my hips, hey, to the opposite side. So I'm going right side, boom, open up. Sorry, right side, open up. You ready? Here we go. Good, you notice my chest stays square. My hips are flipping towards the camera, towards you guys. I'm nice and smooth, I got great body disassociation, and I got great torque. That's what we need for explosive power. Now I'm going backwards. Notice also, when I flip, my feet stay in the same position, okay? I'm not crossing my legs over. I'm gonna go down to the opposite side. I'm gonna flip towards my left side. Shoulders stay square, great athletic position. Here we go. Whew. 
balls of the feet are feeling absolutely phenomenal. This is prepping and priming our feet, but also is priming the calves. Same thing going backwards, okay? You gotta be in that athletic position so you can burst in and out of transitions quick. Come on. Eyes straight ahead. Good, keeping those eyes straight okay, so you can see the play. Next, we're going single leg forward and back. So what I want you to do is we're gonna pretend we're still in the ladder. Boom, forward all the way down. Okay, ready? Right leg, good. Good, now we're gonna be going backwards on the same leg. Hey, right leg. Use the arms, hey, and drive it just like you're running. Same type of mechanics. Hips back, chest up. Stand the balls of your feet, ready to explode. Beautiful, now we're gonna go left foot. You don't gotta get high on this. Remember, we're looking for a quick, fast, ballistic, hey, ground contact, so it's fast. Hey, we want that elasticity from the ankle and the calf. Good. Good. Hey, we're gonna go backwards now. Same thing, notice, I'm on the ball with my feet. My heel never strikes, okay? This is what allows us to stay springy. This was allows us to stay explosive. You ready? I got a little bit of a pop on the knee and the hip. Good, we're going side to side now. I'm gonna start on my right side. Hey, right foot going over and back just like this. Hey, all the way down. Try to keep the shoulders square, eyes up. Good, side to side. Yeah, baby, we just getting started here today. We just getting started doing the same thing, obviously going backwards. Hey, now we're gonna be working that whole quad, VMO. You guys ready? Yeah. Good, we're gonna go to the opposite side now. So I'm going to the left side. Left side straight ahead. This is the last time. We're going forward, we're going back, and we're gonna be ready to go for our sprint series. You guys ready? Good. Now you might feel some imbalances from side to side. Like one leg's a little bit easier when we do the single leg ones, and some ones might be a little bit tougher. That's okay. The more we do it, the better you're gonna get at it and you start to, start to work some of those imbalances. Here we go, last one all out. Good, stay strong in that leg. Finish, finish. Beautiful, hey. We just broke a small sweat. That was nothing. Hey, we've been doing this for a while. Hey, we're just getting started, baby. We're just getting started, let's go. All right, team, we're jumping into session number three. We barely even broke a sweat. We're primed, prepped, and like I say, we're ready to go. This is our sprint mechanic series, working on efficient form and technique. The only kicker today is that we're not doing everything straight ahead. We're gonna be doing some lateral technical work. So, we're gonna be working on our hip switch. I want you to stay long and tall and think about driving, like it says, through, through the hip. So, one knee's gonna be at 90 degrees, toe towards the ceiling, opposite arm, opposite leg up. We're driving from the shoulder, that elbow back, breaking that sheet of glass. And from here, I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. Now, it's 20 seconds in duration. We got two rounds of five different drills. We're gonna be moving laterally when we do it, but because of 20 seconds, we're not just gonna rush there. We're gonna take our time, okay, and we're gonna slowly cross the screen. Go at my tempo, so we go at a nice, easy, controlled tempo, but we're still working on that hip switch. The hip switch, that's gonna allow us to get stronger hip flexors, so when we're out there sprinting, running, that is one of the main contributors to put power and force into the ground. So you wanna sprint faster, you wanna be a greater athlete, you just wanna be an overall greater person, these are gonna help you. So we're gonna start in five seconds with the hip switch, moving laterally to one side. Then we'll get a break and we'll go back to the other side. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Ready? Here we go. So we're switching, staying long, staying tall. Hey, we're not in any rush. Notice how tall I am. I'm not rounding or breaking. There it is, guys. Five seconds left. Great control, great efficiency. And we're staying on the balls of our feet, right? We don't wanna be pounding and hitting on our heels. 
And what I mean by staying tall is you don't want this, okay? This is a no-no in sprinting. This is going to cause you to leak energy, not be able to maximize energy. Ready, we got four seconds. We're gonna be doing it again. Let's get in position. Going back the opposite way. Notice I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm thinking about staying tall with my chest and really driving my knee up. Pulling with the hip. Staying in control, nice and strong. Beautiful. Now we're doing a one, two, three switch. Okay, so virtually the same thing, but I got three switches. Check out the box below. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the opposite leg will always come up. We're just moving and grooving. Okay, take your time. Don't rush, take a deep breath in. Same mechanics apply. Here we go. I'm thinking pocket to eye socket, driving the elbow back. I'm just allowing my face to relax. I'm not getting tight. And when you get tight, you lose power. Sprinters are so relaxed, especially at top end speed. Beautiful. Right, you see Usain Bolt out there. Hey, Justin Gatlin, all the main sprinters, they're not tight, right? They're loose, they're loose. Wrists are loose, arms are loose, and they're just letting it flow naturally. That's years of technical efficiency at the highest level. Here we go. One, two, three. You gotta notice you might have a little bit of balance in your step. Great. The calves are gonna burn. There's no doubt about it. The hip flexor is gonna burn. There's no doubt about it. But are you willing to get better? Are you willing to get stronger? Are you willing to be the greatest version of yourself? I hope so, because that's what it takes to get to that next level. Now what we're gonna do is a triple bounce. I love the triple bounce because one leg's gonna be upholding, the other leg's gonna be balancing on the ground three times. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're starting to get some isometric work to build work capacity in that hip. One, two, three, three. Again, if you're not relaxed, you're gonna make it 10 times harder on yourself. Moving laterally makes it a lot more difficult, but guess what? When you're an athlete and you move 360 degrees, you're gonna thank me for doing this. Beautiful. Hey, we're going back, same thing. Shake it out. Hey, we're halfway through. That was our fifth one. Now we're gonna be going back and then we got four more. <sighs> Two more movements after this. Five seconds. Your heart may, might be through the roof. It may not. Let's keep working hard. Here we go. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Remember, 20 seconds. It's a long time. So don't rush. Keep going, keep finishing. Last few. Good. Now we're gonna be putting number two, number three together, okay? So that triple switch and that balance and hold. So I'm gonna be going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now I gotta be a little bit more coordinated, a little bit more rhythmic. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Love it. As you can see, I'm focused, I'm highly focused right now. Good. Now what makes that one a little more difficult is there's more coordination, there's more rhythm, there's more timing, there's more flow. But once you understand it, once you get it, once you get more efficient at it, that's when your body just takes over and that's when you get the most gains. Hey, just trust yourself, believe in yourself, here we go. That's it. Let it flow. Pull through the hip. One, two, three. One, two, three. Speed it up. You got it now. Come on, pick it up. Good. We're in the last one. All it is is high knees going across, high knees coming back. This one seems like the easiest, but high knees is more rapid. It's tiring because you're doing more. So take your time, work on efficiency. Stay long, stay tall, okay? And good arm action. Good. 
you notice I'm not thinking about going 100%, but I'm thinking about 100% when it comes to technical efficiency. You gotta be perfect. Good. Keep it going halfway now, guys. Five seconds. Picking it up. Good. We got one more. If your feet are burning, that's good. It's working, right? Stay with me. This is where you get better. This is where you take ownership. This is where you become the greatest version of yourself. If you want to be elite, if you want to be the best, hey, you have to put in the time, you have to do the work, and you got to have to be willing to be in an uncomfortable position. Here we go. Finishing up. 15 seconds. You at home, you're doing phenomenal. This is your time to shine, your time to be great. I'm just here to help motivate you, inspire you to be the greatest version of yourself. If you want it, go ahead and take it, baby. That was session number three. That was a high knee series. Let's go, baby. All right, team, we're going to session number four. This is our game day reaction series. We're working on speed, quickness, and just overall movement efficiency with our on-screen flash series. This is an absolute game changer. We've been doing it for weeks, but today we're adding in a little bit more variety. So this is how it's gonna look. We're gonna start off in our base position. We're gonna be buzzing those feet. We're gonna add in the number one. If you see one, we're gonna be doing a hip flip towards our right side, boom. Now if you see two, you're gonna be going towards your left side, okay? So this is an opportunity for you to get this new pattern synced into your nervous system, into your body's iOS system, so keep that eyes peeled and ready to go, because we're gonna be adding it into our full series. We're gonna start this one in three, two, one, and buzz the feet. We're just priming up, baby. Oh, there it is. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. React, react. I'm racking, just like you on the screen. Beautiful. So that's an amazing job just getting our nervous system ready to go. So we're adding in the one, we're adding in the two on the screen flash. Now, we're still gonna have our on-screen flash towards our right and towards our left side. So if you see it pop up on your screen, that red flash, you shuffle towards that flash and get back to the middle as quick as humanly possible. Also, you're gonna see an arrow going up. That's a high knee tuck jump. You're gonna see an arrow going down. That's a strong power burpee, getting back in that athletic position. You're also gonna see the word sprint come across the screen. When you do, you're gonna sprint towards me, I'm gonna sprint towards you, and we're gonna back pedal back. Wow, that was a lot of words in one second. Now, like I said, we've added in the one, we've added in the two, there's so much going on, I'm gonna test it right off the bat. This is an opportunity for you to see where you're at. Now we got five rounds, here we go in three, Two base move, buzz the feet. One, and buzz the feet. Come on, come on guys, 10 more seconds. Yeah, push, push. And done, wow. Every single time, it starts off fast, it starts off quick, and it really tests our will and our might to survive. Because in gameplay, we're always gonna come out with everything we got. And guess what? We're gonna get that reserve tank at the end because we've been working on it. We've been working on conditioning and movement efficiency. We're doing it again in three, two, one, buzz the feet. Oh, baby, it's testing me, baby. It's testing me today. Come on, come on. Done, wow. Ooh. The legs are feeling absolutely charged up. This is an opportunity, hey, to challenge me at home. I'm watching the screen just like you. Hey, we ain't playing any games. I'm working just as hard as you, and I want you to work just as hard as me. This is our chance for both of us to become the greatest version of ourselves. You guys ready to go in three? We're buzzing the feet now. Two, one, buzz the feet. Oh yeah, we're starting off. Quick. Come on, guys. Push. And wow. My heart rate is literally through the roof. But that's what I want. I want to work. 
I want to push myself when I'm tired. If I just kind of settle up and try to take the easy road out because I'm tired, I'll never be successful. I never achieve what I want to achieve because when the times get tough and I truly have to sacrifice, I'm not going to be ready. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, buzz feet. Oh, oh, right off the bat. Yeah, sprint out of here. Push, push, push. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And relax. We got one more. We got one more. Hey, I know you're tired at home. I know you're tired at home. But if you ain't in it to win it, if you ain't in here, you give me everything you got. You came to the wrong place. Hey, we didn't come this far. This didn't come this far. So you better push it. Hey, you better switch on beast mode right now. Cause that's the only option. Switch on beast mode. That's the only option. Three, two, one, buzz the feet. Come on. Ah! Ah! Come on. Ah, ah done. Take a deep breath. We're just getting started. Let's go. All right, team, you know what time it is. It is game day. This is where we put everything to the test. It's our game day Tabata style workout. Now, we have two cycles. Each cycle is going to be four minutes in duration. So it's really high intensity. We're gonna be doing four minutes per cycle and we're gonna be going 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest until we reach that four minutes. And also, we're gonna have a 90 second break when we're done. Now, we're gonna be working hard, we're gonna be working fast. Here's our four movements and I'll also show you some modifications if needed. Here's the first one. We're gonna be going into a push-up. Now, palms line with the shoulders, wide, widen the feet. This is our push-up power jump. So push up, come up to the top, boom, power jump. Two feet jump, push up, power jump. Now, if you need a modification, let's just do a normal push-up and you can just bring your knees up like that and then back down. All that is really a mountain climber, okay? Now, now once we finish that, we're gonna go right into our reverse lunge to power jump. So all we're gonna be doing is a reverse lunge, jump switch, and then drive off of that next leg. Now the leg that's up in the air, now that's a reverse lunge, I switch back and then power jump. Reverse lunge, jump, power jump. Notice how I use those arms in transition to skyrocket my way up. Now if you need a modification, all we're gonna do is reverse lunge, jump and then just drive your knee up instead of leaving the ground. That leg that's up off the ground, now that becomes a reverse lunge, you jump and switch and then drive that knee up. Same thing, you just don't have to get flying off the ground. The third movement, we're gonna do a push up, hey, to power crunch on the same side. So I push up, I turn, elbow to knee, boom, right back down. Push up, elbow to knee. Great shoulder stabilization, core control. If you need a modification, you can come in on, on down to your knees and boom, just touch like that. Easy work. The last movement is going to be a power side lunge jump. I absolutely love this one. So we do a side lunge, drive this knee up towards the sky and really push off of that outside leg as well. Boom, then I switch sides. Boom, switch sides and it's a Quick switch once I touch the ground. So now we're quick and fast over to one side, and then we're ready to react and drive up, and then switch sides. This is gonna be tiring, but guess what? Work within the domains and the confined space that you have. Hey, don't overdo it, and make sure that you stay safe within it. We're gonna be starting in five seconds with our power push-up jump. Take a deep breath. We're gonna get down to the ground. Knees are gonna drive to our chest. We have 20 seconds on. Good. I like this one because we're working on not only upper body strength, but lower body explosive power. Drive, it is all out. Grit and determination to get where we wanna go and be the greatest we can be. Come on. Beautiful. 10 seconds to rest. 
We're gonna be going right into our reverse lunge to power jump. A lot of coordination here. Take your time. Ready? Good. Here, switch, power jump up. Reverse lunge, jump switch, power up. Reverse lunge, jump, power up. Good, you guys got it now. Drive that knee towards the ceiling. Use those arms in coordination. Come on. And up. Good, now we have our push up. Hey, to rotational crunch. Take a deep breath in, elbow to knee. Good. Crunch. I'm thinking about working those side obliques, working my shoulder stabilizers, and working my overall body control and movement efficiency here. Keep going. How many can you get? Last ones, and done. Now we have a side lunge to power jump in the middle. Take a deep breath, quick, fast, but under control. Side lunge, drive up. Side lunge, drive up. There it is, good. Look at the height. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Being explosive, being in control. Hey, really driving down aggressively through that leg on the outside. Oh, last ones. Good. Take a deep breath. Shake it out. We got 10 seconds. Power push up, jump. Here we go. Good. Now the shoulders, okay? The arm's gonna be burning. You might be moving a little bit slower. The upper body is really gonna be taken to the test now. Keep the hips up, core engaged. Last few. Good. Wow. Hey, that's a big pump of pump right there. Let's go. Reverse lunge, knee drive. Here we go. Good. Slow it down. Work the rhythm, work the timing. This is one of my favorite movements, especially now that we've been doing this for a while. Your body's gonna be getting way more in sync. Oh yeah, that's a burner right there. Ah. Rotational push-ups now. You guys see it. When you're tired, eh, you can spend a little bit more time focusing on the shoulder stabilizers. As you turn and crunch, you can hold a little bit longer. Make sure that palm is in line with the shoulder so you can maximize stabilization. Breathe, stay tight, stay strong. Beautiful. Last one, then you get 90 second break. This is your time. Turn it on, switch it on. Side lunge, power jump. I'm attacking the outside leg down to the ground and I drive that knee up with force, with aggression, and with intent. Come on, baby. Confidence has no competition. You are your biggest competition. You are everything you've always wanted to be. And that's why we're successful, baby. Take a drink, breathe, and bring oxygen to those muscles. Shake it out. Wow. This is what we want. We got one more round. If that was a burner of a round, and trust me it was, then we're in for a treat. That's why we always do two rounds. Because the first round is just a warm up. It's an opportunity to get the rhythm, get the timing, get the coordination, get with the flow and just start to learn the patterns of success. Learn what it takes to be in the trenches. Learn what it takes to fight through adversity. Learn what it takes to be the greatest version of yourself. You got 45 seconds to find it in you. There ain't no stopping. You might slow down, but there ain't no stopping. Hey, we're gonna put on that bulletproof vest. Hey, we're developing that armor, that shield, that mind to muscle connection that matter what happens in your life. Hey, you're gonna be the greatest version. You're gonna be the strongest version. Hey, build that relentless mindset. Callous the mind. Callous the mind. This is where we get after it. Man, if you ain't at home ready for this round, if you ain't ready for this round, I hope you're up for it now. Take a deep breath. We're starting off with power push-ups. Here we go, guys. Hey, I did not stop, baby. 
I do not stop. Remember, you can move a bit, a little bit slower because we're still looking for movement efficiency. We're looking for explosiveness. Hey, we're looking for you to give me everything you got. I told you at the beginning, if you give me everything you got, you're gonna leave greater because of it. Good. Reverse lunge, power jump. Hey, my arms are numb. Hey, they're numb because I don't feel any pain, baby. Let's go. Good, you notice how I have to land on one leg and work on that single leg stability, balance and overall body control. This is that opportunity, hey, to get better. When times are tough and you're in the game and your legs are shaking, you know you've done enough. Good. Hey, push up and rotation. Take a deep breath in. Let's get to work, baby. It's a work day. God. Hey. Who's going to stop you? Who's going to stop you? Nobody. That's what I tell myself. Imagine when the person across from you, doesn't matter if it's in sports or in life, is tired. You got them right where you want them. Right where you want them. Imagine if you're tired. Imagine them. That's all I can say. Here we go. Side lunge, power jump. Deep breath. Come on, we're almost there. Again, single leg balance, stability. And it's pure grit and grind. Come on, halfway, guys. Come on, give me that last 10 seconds here. Try to touch my head to the roof. Find it in you right now. Do not surrender. Do not surrender. Here we go. Ah! Ah! This is your time, baby. If you ever wanted something so bad and you see it, don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. Because ah! sometimes when you're right there and there might be one more brick, Never turn around, because you could have broke it. Break through, break through. We build the greatest combinations, hey, that you're ever gonna do. We build pure athleticism. We build mental fortitude. Hey, we build callous the mind, baby. Relentless mindset, mama mindset. So when things get tough, you're absolutely ready for battle. Come on, we got less than a minute left. Push up and rotation. My shoulders are getting powerful. Ah. One at a time. Ah. Notice it might be a bit of a slow or tempo, but I get full range of motion. I get really good form. I'm looking for at least three aside. Last one. Ah. We're just getting started, baby. Finish stronger than you started. Side lunge to power jump. No stop. Love it. Work, grind, success. Three seconds. Last one. Just getting started, baby. We're just getting started. I don't know about you guys, but I want some more. I want some more. I want some more, baby. This is where we get after it. Hey, this is over time. And if you guys want it bad enough, you're gonna join me right here, right now. This is our burpee beep test challenge. We got six rounds. The beeps are gonna get faster. It's gonna be a little bit more dynamic. It's gonna be a little bit quicker. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you're supposed to do. So we're gonna be in a nice athletic position. When you hear the beep, we're gonna get down to that power burpee position. Palms line with the shoulders, kick those legs back. We're right back up. But now you're gonna do a 180 flip. Boom, facing the way that you were just looking, and then we're gonna be waiting again in that athletic position for the next beat. Pop, pop, turn and go. It's gonna be quicker, it's gonna be faster, and it's gonna challenge you like never before. Like I said, you wanna callous the mind and have a relentless mindset. If you wanna be great, if you wanna be a winner, 
This is the time right now. Don't let me down. I'm tired just like you. And I'm gonna push just like you. How many can you get? Let's start in five seconds. Take a deep breath in. And let's get ready. Start level one. Come on. You gotta be quick, you gotta be fast. You got two minutes to work. Level two. Notice how I stay in athletic position so I get down quicker. Maximize your energy by being efficient. Come on, guys. There's 40 of them, we're only at nine. And these spins will add up. Ah, come on, halfway almost. Ah. Ah. You want it, baby? Go get it. Don't surrender. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. If you want it bad in life, if you want it bad enough in life, you will go out and get it any means necessary. I'll see you next time. <laughs>